What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name is Marco and today we're going to take a look at the Spyderco Subvert. And this is a, a, the sprint run version of the knife. The typical version I think is on this 30V uh, with uh, orange uh, G10 uh, scales. This one's the sprint version of the knife and this is, has the carbon fiber scales and the 20CV, uh, the 20CV blade. So the, the Subvert, let me give you a tour of the knife and then I'll tell you kind of my story getting to, to buy the Subvert. You have a very, very, very uh, uh, large blade here. This is a monster. I'll give you some size comparisons here in a second. But look, you're, look, you're pushing four inches, over four inch long blade. I'm not sure how to describe this blade. Uh, it's, it's, it's kind of a recurve. It's... It's, it's it's closer to a machete more than it is to any anything else. It, it, you got a, a liner lock. You got your typical your typical spider uh, pocket clip. Uh, so so it's it's a very unique knife. It's a very unique knife in its blade shape, uh, not in its function. Uh, you know, uh, spidey flick is is a traditional method for. We're opening this. It's a titanium uh, liner lock, uh, so so this is kind of what you have. It's it's just a, a beast of a knife, and I struggled to decide to buy it for a long time. I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. Uh, looking at it, I looked at it and it looked unique. And I'm not always looking for uniqueness in my collection. And but it's an expensive knife. I mean, it's pu pushing five hundred dollars, so you have to kind of. Uh, make the decision to buy this instead of a of a, of a Chris Reeve knife instead of a of a hinder uh, and that's a tough decision to make but during Black Friday uh, they had this on on sale for like three hundred and twenty dollars or thereabouts and because of that I thought well you know what if I'm ever gonna do it I might as well do it so I've been carrying it for a, for about two or three weeks now and and I'm liking it quite a bit, so 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 let me uh, let me give you uh, let me give you the review. Uh, let's start with some size comparisons because, like I said, this is a monster. That's against your pair two, so that's you can see. I mean, uh, I mean, pair two by all by most people's estimations is a full size knife, and this one dwarfs it by by a significant amount. I mean, tail to tail to tail. It's a good full inch longer than than, than than what you got for the PM2. It is also it is also thicker. This is this is a thick boy. Let me let me show you here in in profile elevation so you can see the difference in thicknesses here of the knife. So yeah, so this one's a beast. So just for the sake of completeness, I'm gonna give you the the bug outs. But the buggers are poor comparison here because just the bug outs are, you know, more of a, a, a light, uh, slim carry, whereas this is this is anything but. So that's what you got. You got your full size bug out, you got your mini bug out. Again, this is not this is not a good size comparison, but it gives you an idea of kind of the size of knife that we're talking about here. So let me start with the ergonomics. The ergonomics on this knife are phenomenal, are, are really, really good. When you're choked back, now it's a big knife, so even when I'm choked back here, okay, even when I'm not choked back here, I still have, you know, three quarters to a full inch in the back. I wear large gloves. So this is a knife that large, extra large, extra, extra large hands will be able to, to, to use uh, fairly easily. If you have a small hand, this is, might be <laughs> an unwieldy knife in, in, in your hands. It does have this, this kind of uh, divot here, this indentation here to choke up, and you can use that. So it's, it, it's a little weird uh, holding it in, in, in this position. Uh, I feel like I'm coming too close to the, to the edge, but because it's such a large blade, I do find myself uh, choking up and you know whenever I have to do something a little bit more uh, uh, fine where I have need a little bit more control I do find myself using this uh, which they have so the ergonomics on this are, 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 are pretty darn good are pretty darn good especially because what you have 
is you have a little bit of contouring on the scales, but the step between the scale and the liner, and it's a thick liner, okay? So it's almost like a frame lock with overlays. It's it's almost that, it's a, in, in, in that sense, it's kind of like the F3 and S, right? Where you have this very thick liners that almost, that could almost work without the, the, the exterior scales. Uh, but because you have the contouring on the exterior scale and then you have like this this step and then you have all of this contouring it fits in your hand very well now this is like i said it is a thick knife it's a fat knife so it fills your hand completely you 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 get a full purchase you 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 never feel like it's going anywhere you 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 feel it very secure especially if you've got large hands again i think it might be a little bit unwieldy for people with with smaller hands so I think the, the, the ergonomics are, 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 are really, really good. Now the action, the action is, is really, really nice. Uh, you know, usually with, with larger blades, you get, you get a little bit of the, of the drop shot action just because of the, of the weight of the blade. But this one has the type of action that I like, which is it's drop shot, but it's kind of controlled. It's slow, it's, it's more uh, dampened, you know, it's, it, so, so the action is really, really good. Uh, Opening it, it's, it, it deploys uh, well uh, and I guess uh, reliably, uh, but it is it is larger blade, so you you do have it's. I guess it's it's kind of slower to kind of just fan out, uh, but the action the action is really really good. I really 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 like the closing action on this, and when it when when it when it hits the the detent when it's closed, there's this kind of thunk. Uh, it, that you feel in your hand more than here, it. but it's 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 actually fairly fairly satisfying. It's I I think it's a uh, I think the action is is really really good. Uh, probably out of my spider toes, yeah, probably the most satisfying action of, out of all my spider toes. Uh, it doesn't have the the kind of free swinging uh, a, a things that you get from from a from a PM two. Or uh, those kinds of things, but the 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 action that it, that it closes kind of slowly. Oh, it's 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 really really good. I I like the action quite a bit. Uh, so ergonomic action. So cutting, man, it's it's it, it's a machete. Uh, I've enjoyed uh, food prepping. Uh, I've enjoyed quite a bit. It's it's a little bit of a gnarly larger knife. So so uh, cutting with it, uh, especially for food prep, has been. Has been a great experience. Uh, it's a little bit thick uh, for cutting through cardboard boxes. Uh, it is slicey, but if I give you blade thickness comparisons, you can see it's much thicker than that than, than a PM2, which is very slicey. But and this one is a full flat grind, so you've got a full flat grind from the bottom to the from the cutting edge to the top. You've got a full flat grind, but it is a thick blade. It is a thick blade, so by the time you're pushing through cardboard, by the time you're back here, you're actually you're 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 actually dragging quite a bit. So so uh, you know styrofoam cardboard, it it it, it it's, it's decent, but it's not great at those tasks. But because of the recurve, you know uh, the recurve helps you a lot, especially when you're cutting something like rope, string, leather, those kinds of things because it pulls it in, there's this recurve that, that you get in here that, and it pulls it into the blade and, and, it cuts, and it cuts very well. So for things like cutting rope, uh, like I said, for, for stuff like, like food prepping, I mean, just if you're gonna open packages, then, then this will be this will look fine. Uh, but uh, slicing through, through thick stuff, cardboard, those kinds of things, uh, uh, not the greatest, it, it, it's decent, it's okay, uh, but, but nothing. And, and nothing extraordinary for sure. Now, fit and finish. Now, so this one's this one is from the uh, Tai Chung Taiwan, uh, which is uh, which is one of the which is one of the better uh, uh, facilities that Spyderco has to do some of their higher end stuff. Now, unfortunately, and, and well, okay, I'll I'll tell you what the the, the flaw in my version of the knife. I think a uh, a uh, the the contouring, the materials, the all of all, the knife is done very, very well. I think for the most part, like I said, the action is is, is great, it feels great in the hand. I don't see many 
uh, many fit and finish uh, errors. The only the only thing that I that I noticed, and hopefully this comes across. I don't know if, if you're gonna be able to pick it up. The secondary bevel on this side of the knife. Okay, hopefully you can see how thick this is, as opposed to this other side. So it is much smaller on this side than it is on this side, especially around the recurve here. And it's not symmetrical for sure. And I thought about sharpening it and and kind of bringing it back to 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 symmetry. But uh, I wanted to do the review first to show you to show you kind of the, the way I got it. So this is an expensive knife, and you can see here I can see it's it's the the width of the of the secondary bevel is fairly fairly even hopefully that comes across i'm trying to orient the knife in several different directions so that you can see it it's fairly even throughout throughout the length of the blade but on this side it is much thicker around this area here than it is anywhere else in fact there's it's it's even thicker like right around here uh, so so the the only flaw in the fit and finish that I saw with with this particular version of the knife, and like I said, I can only evaluate my knife. I don't have any other knives. Uh, it's it's that the that the secondary bevel was not was not even throughout this one, yeah, and 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 it's fairly and it's fairly dramatic. It's it it's not a small it's not a small difference. It's 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 fairly noticeable. I kind of noticed it right away when I got it. It's, I think I got it at, at a very, very good price. Uh, Black Friday was going for something like $320 or thereabouts. So I thought it was a, a, a good deal. So I'm just gonna kind of, uh, you know, take my, take my, my, my fixed uh, sharpener and, and sharpen it. But that's, that's kind of what I, what I saw. So, um, uh, Fit, finish, action, ergonomics, uh, cutting, uh, airing of grievances. I think, uh, I think it's a great knife. I really do think it's a great knife. It, it stayed in. Uh, I usually like to carry it for at least two weeks, and this one stayed for in my pocket for a little bit more than that. Uh, but uh, and it's because it's because it's just it's just a really really good knife. I think it's a little bit underrated. I think the size is intimidating to some. For sure, uh, this is uh, you know this is not something that's going to disappear in your pocket, but uh, but I, I think it's a little bit underrated. I don't think people are thinking it's prices enough. I think it's a it's a really really cool knife, and if you've been on the fence, I encourage you to actually try it because uh, it, I was on the fence and and, and, I, and I and I came out thinking, man, it's I I, I I don't wish that I pulled the trigger sooner because I like the sprint version more than I do the standard version. Uh, but uh, I do think it's uh, I do think I would have been happy either way. Uh, so uh, my earring of grievance is basically just that, um, just this, uh, just the, the just the secondary bevel. I just wish that they did, that that they managed to 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 nail that a little bit better. Uh, other than that, I I think I think it's I, I think it's a great I think it's a great uh, knife from Spyderco. And I highly recommend it. Uh, so, guys, if you think that I earned it, only if you uh, liked, then like and subscribe. Don't hit those notification bells. Nobody likes to get emails. So, until I see you at the next one, take care.